In this video, we're going to be looking at accordions, not like the kind that Weird Al plays, but actual normal, normal accordions in so far as web development is concerned. So what we're going to do is look at the documentation, see all the different parts, how do we assemble these things, and then obviously we're going to look at coding examples. So let's just go ahead and get over to the docs and see what these things are all about. And so we see it says for accordion that it displays a list of high-level options that could be expanded or collapsed to reveal more information. And so we see that we have these five things coming in, the accordion, the item, the button, the panel, and then the icon. And so I'm just going to go, you could pause this or you could go to the documentation and read it yourself right here. But what I'm going to do is actually go down and just see kind of how this is all laid out because I think that's where the rubber meets the road. And so I'm going to scroll back up here in a second. So this is a little large, but we have this accordion, which is the outermost parent here. And then we have an accordion item. And the item is going to essentially be this is an item. And then we have this is an item right here. Now, as you can see, there's H2s wrapped in here. I've taken them out before. And to my knowledge, when I was doing this locally, if you took out the H2s, I don't think that made a gigantic difference in any kind of way, but I would just ignore the H2s for now. So then we have the item, which is essentially each panel in the accordion, and then we have the button. And then in there is the, you know, the contents that you're going to have inside of there to, you know, uh, appear. And so we have the button on top of there. We have, it says the, you know, section one title. And so we have this box left aligned. So we have this item, we have the button, and then we have the icon here, which the icon is this. And so it's the chevron arrow pointing down, I think is the default. And so this is layered out a little funkily, but uh, just kind of work with me here. And then below the accordion button is the panel. And this is what gets exposed inside of the accordion item here. So it's gonna be lorem ipsum dolores sitamet, or however it's pronounced. Now we can see that right here as we click, it doesn't do anything. We can't collapse it, but if we click the bottom one here, it collapses upward. If you don't like that or need more flexibility, don't worry, just keep watching this tutorial. So to recap this, just cause I think it's important to get, we have the accordion wraps everything and then we have the accordion item, which is going to wrap your your content for each of the panels, essentially, even though this is an accordion panel. This is going to be, you know, your, your first row, essentially. And then in there, you're going to have the button and however you want to name it, style it on the inside. Never forget your accordion icon here at the end. And then below all that, you have your panel, which is essentially the body of the content of this entire row here. And then you just, you know, copy and paste or, or whatever, and, and there you go. And so if you wanna expand multiple uh, panels at one time, you could come here and you could use allow multiple and it'll let you do that. So we have allow multiple in here, it's set to true. So we could collapse stuff and we could expand both of these. It's not, a this or that kind of option, which I think is really nice. And you do that in the most parent um, one here, which is accordion. Now, in case I forget, don't come back to it. Maybe I'll talk about it twice, which is better than not at all. You see this default index right here, and it's an object or um, it has those um, squiggly brackets. And then in here, we have this array zero. And so this is meaning that the default, this one will be open. If we set it to one here, That will be open. If we come back, none of them are open. Hit it to zero. The first one's open. So not only could you allow multiple to be open at the same time, you could also set a default index as well. And then we could uh, toggle each item. So it says if you allow toggle to be true, any expanded item may be collapsed again. So this is incredibly similar to allow multiple. You notice we're doing essentially the same thing up here. 
but if you want to call it by, I guess, another different name, feel free to do so. I found that these things are virtually identical. So use whatever you know you want. And so we have this right here it says styling the expanded state. And it says the accordion button expands or accordion button component has the aria expanded set to true or false depending on the state of the accordion item. And so use the underscore expanded to style the state. And so when it's expanded, meaning when we click this button and everything kind of just falls out of it, right? We're going to set the background to tomato and I guess the text color to um, white. And so we see that this button right here is meeting those criteria for this. Sorry if I made it seem like the whole thing was going to go tomato or white by how I talked about it. But you can see that this style, which is in line right here, is receiving this update here. So I think that's pretty cool. And plus, you know, it's uh, the accordion button has this ability here. So I think that's kind of cool because think of a lot of Q&A sections on websites where you have like, you know, a million things. They may, maybe it's a reverse mortgage website and it's like 15 tabs on whether or not it's a scam, right? If someone's reading through there, it's going to help them out a lot when they click on something, especially if they walk away and come back. What is it they clicked on last time? Now, you may want to pair this coloring, styling kind of thing right here with it maybe not allowing for multiple. Maybe you only want one at a time because then if you have a bunch of these tomato or similarly colored backgrounds, it kind of defeats the purpose. So just use the color and the expandability um, you know, wisely. And so we have some stuff about accessing the internal state right here. This isn't something I'm going to specifically cover right now. I think this is a little bit more advanced. Feel free to come back here and look at this. I want to say it's the most advanced thing ever. I think if you're going to get out and to start using this, you're most likely not going to use this case out of the box. And I kind of want this tutorial series to be more about just getting up and getting going. And by the time you, you feel more you know secure and whatnot, you're going to come back here and see if there's any other tips and tricks to get you going. And so we have the accessibility. Uh, so by pressing space or enter, when the focus on the accordion panel header will, um, will toggle uh, the accordion. There's some stuff about props here. Feel free to check, look over this stuff in case I haven't covered it or the you know code examples above haven't covered it. But uh, I like to code. I think you like to code. That's why you're here. So let's get to coding. All right, so let's do our first accordion example. I do believe there's just two I have planned out for this. And this one is actually going to be quite similar to the example in the docs. I'm going to change some stuff up here. And there's a couple of things I kind of want to discuss about the docs, too, because sometimes I think there may be slightly misleading stuff, but let's get to coding. All right, so we see the accordions right here. We have movie scene intro. We click down here. Then we have high speed chase with Bernie. And as we click, we notice nothing's going on. But if we click the bottom one, Bernie blows up the building and takes the corgi home for some sniffing. And, you know, this is how it works basically right here. One thing I wanted to point out though, let me scroll this back on over is that we had these H2s in the documentation. Now, let me refresh this here. Now, unless this is providing some kind of like semantic meaning to a reader or the browser, what I ended up doing was taking these out. I hit save. And everything seemed to be the exact same. So I, unless they changed the uh, docs, 
since I've looked at him creating this, I don't think you necessarily need the H2 in there unless there's something I just didn't read over, which I'm human, right? But um, this is how you make an accordion. You have an accordion component, right? It's the most uh, uh, parent one out here. We have an item, and the item is going to be essentially, let me refresh this here, this. This whole thing in here is an item. Actually, you know, this whole thing in here is an item. And so we have the button, which we're able to click, and then the box inside, which has the movie scene intro. And so when we click this accordion button, what it does is show the panel with the um, text in here. It says, high speed chase with Bernie driving. So it seems like, you know, this and I think tables too. Traditionally, I feel like even with like other frameworks and libraries, they could take up a lot of like your file on your page. So you definitely would want to put an accordion in its own component file somewhere because imagine if you had like, you know, eight, nine or 10 of these things, right? You might want to just write a lot of this out in some kind of for loop. But yeah, so this could get pretty bulky in here, but there are some things we could do with the accordion up top here giving it some attributes that I think would be um, kind of interesting here. So let's do allow for multiple. Well, what does this do? Let's hover over. It says if true, which it is true, multiple accordion items could be expanded at once. Okay, not the case. So let's refresh this. So now we can see that we could close and toggle essentially both uh either one of them open and close but they could both be open at the same time which i'm telling you right now there's m way fewer cases in my opinion where a you want to use an accordion but if you are and you and you have maybe stuff that users are comparing like a you know a frequently asked question section they may be comparing answers or information in two sections and if they click one and it closes the other, they're going to be pretty pissed. Why? Because I've gotten pretty pissed at that kind of stuff before. So try and be liberal with, with this kind of stuff. At least that's just me on my soapbox right here. So another thing we could do here is we could allow toggle. What does toggle do? If true, any expanded accordion could be collapsed again. So this is kind of like allow multiple. So if we took this off, refresh this we could see it we could close itself but when we open another item here it closes the other one so allow multiple kind of does everything allow toggle you know allows you to get back to how it looked when the page loaded and i think that's kind of cool so this last one here is also interesting default index And what's this do? The initial in indexes of the expanded accordion item. So let's hit save. And so we see right here, this first index right here, which is the zeroth item in the array, high speed chase with Bernie driving is open. If we want to come here and do, you know, one and refresh this, we see that this is open down here. So this is the basics for uh, accordions. In the next section, what we're going to do is just some ever so slight styling. And um, yeah, see you in just a moment. Alrighty, so this is going to be a little tidbit right here. We could do styling until the cows come home, right? So let me just show you all in a very um, small way how to style uh, one of the buttons in here. But first, let's allow for uh, multiple. So we have this accordion button right here. And how would we style it, say, when it's expanded? Well, that's pretty easy. We could come in here and do, is it expanded? Cool. So let's go ahead and give it some cool stylings then. So we refresh this here. Let's take off default index. And we see now that when this is expanded, 
This shifts to blue. It's all sorts of large, the white, all this other stuff. And so, you know, this is this is a way when this expands out, you could come here and style it. If you come in here and hit, you know, underscore. There is, you could see a bevy of other styles you could choose from, maybe not necessarily for your case for an accordion, but this is one way when you pop open your content here that you could come in and, you know, um, give this a little bit of emphasis to show exactly what it is they may have clicked on. Because if you allow for multiple and you have like a zillion of these on the way down, you know, maybe you want some kind of special feature or something in your state keeping track of where they just, you know, clicked or something along those lines. At this point, I'm just rambling on and I uh, hope to see you all in the next video. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Appreciate it.